hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is ada makeup artist and an interior designer based in port harcourt nigeria today's video is a makeup a bridal makeup tutorial yes so we started off with um cleaning up grooming the brows then skin prep my skin prep usually i usually start from mary badesco then i go in my serum and then I'm going in right now with an oil-free acne moisturizer from Neutrogena because my model is oily. So I tried something new, but not like new, or let's say something differently. Ordinarily, I would have gone in with my primer, but I said to just go in with my RCMA translucent powder. So it's it's like a hack for people who have oily skin, or maybe you don't have your primer at rich so you can try this method to help mattify your face just go in with a setting spray it helps to lock in with a setting powder and help to keep your face matte at least for a while before the oil starts penetrating or starts to show so here i'm going in with the beauty by ad foundation this foundation is a nigerian brand Trust me guys, Nigerian brands are doing amazingly well. So I'm just patting and blending. Patting and blending. Like you're pushing in the product. You're not going in so much. And you're just trying to blend it out. Yeah, I didn't correct her on the eyes. So because this particular foundation is a bit pigmented. I went in with much more that I would have used for under the eyes just to correct the under eyes. Yeah, I removed the hairband and being that she's a light skinned lady, her hair her hairline was already turning red as you can see. So I had to blend it out. To blend out this area of the skin that's a hairline area, try to go in with foundation that is a bit just likely a bit darker than the original foundation that you'd have used for the person and just make sure it blends into the skin blend your foundation and here i'm doing my low light to give the face some warmth yeah so i'm using this um, maybelline foundation i like the warm um undertone to it so just applied it around the perimeters of her face that's the hairline also around the nose and the cheek and the jawline so by the time i was done blending this is how the face was looking like at least it has some warmth and has a bit of depth here i'm going in with my all-time favorite tehila cosmetics I don't know about this product i'm so in love with it i mean guys just just look at that just look at that so you also want to control how you apply this um blush depending on the skin tone it's very important you don't want the client or the model to look overly red i see some people and a very light skinned person there's a whole lot of red blush going on and it doesn't really look good so here I'm going in with my concealer in Kevin Aquan. I don't know if you guys noticed, but our model has a textured skin. Textured skin or not, it doesn't stop us from creating a flawless skin. You just need to know the right amount of foundation to go to use rather, and you would still get that flawless finish. So, yeah, this is my first time trying out this powder puff i'd always seen um mr paints paint by spencer yes i i always see him use it and i've i always just liked it but never thought i'd be i'll use it so yesterday um i was like okay let me try it since i bought it and i really liked the outcome it was really nice really nice yeah i'm using warm foundation and powder from milani cosmetics i'll forever be a milani girl forever and ever be a milani girl i've never thrown my milani powders away because they are goals like they're amazing and you can use it for anything here we're baking 
with the same setting powder that we used after setting if you, the ogs here understand what i mean by set and bake because what we did the first time was actually setting and now we just baked to help um brighten up the under eyes and for any fallout of eyeshadow it's easy to just dust off so for the eyeshadow mm, i started off with the novan lip stain in i think it's in pitch first as my base then i went in with this orange tone um, eyeshadow from morph my 35 35 is my go-to <laughs> um eyeshadow uh, there's some colors there that are getting finished and in my head i'm like don't get finished please i still need you where would i get you if you if i run out of you because my uh, morph isn't producing that particular um eyeshadow anymore so guys i don't know how my team did not record when we were applying this um eyeshadow so i had to quickly go back and show you guys the palette i used i used it from huda beauty eyeshadow in remastered that's the eye shadow i use it looks pigmented really even without any pigment so here i'm just going in with pigments i started off with glitters like chunking glitters like not chunky per se but you know what glitters is like um in gold then and i went in with pigment added more um eyeshadow dark eyeshadow at the back just to give it some warmth so give it some depth not warmth if um from the beginning you can see how i was able to build this eyeshadow like we started off with orange then we went in with a darker shade of orange then we went in with black also used um yellow on it too just to give it the perfect blend brows done i don't highlight my brows anymore i've actually mastered the act of drawing my brows without having to use concealer to highlight it what i was just doing at the top right now was just using whatever product that is in that my brush to clean up the top of the brow so it looks neat but then you don't go in with so much you just just if you have just a little amount of that product on the brush and that's all you need so here we've done our dust off we're going in with powder from maybelline yeah you know i saw this particular powder with my friend do see i'm like what maybelline they have powder it is beautiful and i, I got just the light shade yes because the dark shades they have i already have them in another brand so i didn't bother buying here I'm going in with my all-time favorite blush palette from Juvia's Place. You can see that the, the orange is the one I use the most. And it's, it has hit the pan already, but I'm still going to be using it like that until we're completely done. So for your blush, you really want to make sure you blend and make it look flawless. You would enjoy it. Here I'm going in with Tehila Cosmetics gel liner. Guys, everything Tehila that I've tried is good. It's not a paid advert. They didn't pay me or they didn't give me anything. But you see, I've not been able to buy Inglot for a while. I normally buy my Inglot from America. A friend of mine was supposed to help me get it. But we, we lost her in January. We have so rest in perfect peace, princess. Her death has actually left me in denial. So um, I had to get this, or rather Tehila sent me this gel liner and it has been the very best, the very best gel liner. It, it will pass for Inglot, like it's a great to for Inglot, it's amazing, like amazing in every sense of the word. So please go and purchase your gel liner from Tehila and if you're buying directly from them, please do not forget to mention me to them that i refer to yes thank you very much um yeah i'm saying this in case there will be future deals now yes there's no deal for now but you never can tell so yeah this is what our eyes is looking like isn't that beautiful and then i went in with this blot cosmetics loose highlighter on the highest point of her face that's a chin nose region and the 
forehead you also want to go back with the brush that you used for your blush just to blend everything together so it looks seamless here i'm going in with um lashes from Cosmetics. i think this should be their nuptial tree yeah they have amazing beautiful lashes for bridal looks so yeah after which i went back to my gel liner just to make sure uh the eyeshadow and the lashes that have been placed is well defined yes and just like so next i'm going in with this kiss beauty setting spray guys i just started using kiss beauty is there anyone that uses kiss beauty here just say hi on the comment section in the comment section my friend Miss Wizzy referred oh did I say referred no I saw her using it and I'm like you know what I, I would like to get it is it nice and she said yes and so far so good it's actually been nice like really nice for the lid um we starting off with peach from Nubian Beauty this brown lip stain to line our model's lip and just look at that beauty it looks really nice I added some gloss then I went in with my first lip stain. This lip stain is like um, a peachy tone lip stain. Yeah, but it wasn't giving me the vibe I want and it didn't look like a flattered uh, model. So I went in again with a, p a light pink um, lipstick. And this one is from Eye Magic. Make sure to blend the brown and the pink together. So they all just look seamless i went in again with a lighter shade of pink now this pink i mixed it with white so from from same eye magic um palette just so i get something brighter for the part area of her lips and this is what it looks like i went in with gloss so for the middle part of the lip which is usually the part it's best to use glosses that are shimmery like they have shimmers inside of them and they are thick they are thicker you know it just gives this plum lip and it comes out really beautiful before you go over with your normal gloss yeah so here guys we're done this is our finished look our model was feeling herself here i just had to clean out the excesses maybe the areas where we went overboard mascara what's the girl with our mascara we went in with mascara and that's it for this video so this was a transition that i posted on instagram if you came to this channel and you're watching this video from our instagram page by seeing this post thank you kisses to you please do not forget to like share share please so that your friends family can subscribe to my channel and also follow me yes thank you guys so very much for watching i hope you found this video very educative and interesting if you have any questions please do not forget to drop the message in the comment section thank you guys love you